club was formed in 1978 and it's been here now, this is our 41st season. It's always been a very jolly social club run for the community. I think changing the coach has made a big difference. It's, Liam's brought in new ideas, modern ideas. He's very good with the, the players. He gets his ideas across, his awareness of what the players want and he actually asks the players everything about what they're doing, making sure they know what that and what the game plan is. He's brought in a lot of modern techniques with the video editing and so forth, which has been really good for the players all across our five teams. We've actually got a three-year plan to get up to the next division, which is basically a semi-professional semi league. We played there for about seven years ago, found it very good, and we, we think we got the, uh, the plan to get to be up there three years hence, to be up there once again, playing at the highest level that we think the club can achieve at this moment in time. We're very lucky with good numbers, and you need a lot of uh, numbers to, to, to make up those five teams that we produce. I think after being part of this club for three years, there's boys who have realised their potential. There are challenges where the players aren't paid. Uh, I think that goes, goes, for, uh, goes throughout the whole league and, and other leagues above and below. The general vibe around the club is a lot more positive. Um, there's a lot more people engaged. Uh, there's a lot of people really interested in what we're doing here in terms of the style of rugby that we play. The strength of having so much depth is there's always another guy to fill the boots. There's always another guy that wants to improve, develop and get better. Um, so that's what makes it such a great special club where you've got guys to stand up uh, in those positions uh, when that player isn't available. People are getting better every week, not only through the actions of the coaches, but also themselves. What James brings uh, week in, week out is his refereeing expertise. So he is in the middle um, of games every Saturday, so he can bring sort of relevant knowledge to, to our training sessions. So we know what the referees are looking out for and how we can manage games better. We've got Ian, he's improving all the time and increasing his rugby knowledge, which helps our, our fitness and our stamina in games as well. Self-improvement starts with um, self-reflection, and they've bought into that massively. So that's really, really pleasing. He's, he's taught us how to self-reflect, so things that we've done well in a training session on the pitch, uh, but also things that we can improve on, and that way you're always looking for, for ways to, to, to get better, essentially. They're the ones playing the game, not me all the other coaches, so I need to understand their feeling of what they saw and what pictures they saw and how they feel that they can improve. I think after the first few games this year, there's, there's no one in this league we should fear. Being involved at Hammersmith and Fulham, their willingness to learn is, is, is outstanding uh, from, from teams one to five. I feel like we have got closer as a, as a club this year um, with, with those boys getting those opportunities and, um, you know, Train it, training as one club. We don't just train as an elite squad and a development squad. Every, everybody gets the same, um, the same training sessions. Energy is really important. Uh, I think it's the emphasis on the players taking things up and learning things and putting themselves. I think it's, um, uh, uh, it's, there's an element of fun around it uh, that wasn't there. And that might reflect us as much as the fact that we've had a couple of wins as opposed to where we were last year. But equally, I think a big part of it is actually there's just a really good atmosphere around the club right now. Um, and people want to be a part of that, which is something that's fantastic.